You guys already know the developers of Funky Friday has posted a new Light League video over on their channel. It's time to dive into that Light League video and see what we're going to be getting into Funky Friday. So smash that like and subscribe so everybody knows what's coming in this next upcoming update. And let's dive right into it. So the developers of Funky Friday posted the Judgment Hall Light League video over on their YouTube channel. How about let's play the clip on this video and see what we can get from it. I'm not gonna lie about that. Here we go. I was able to find, dig this, seven leaks. Not all of them in this video, but also some bonus tips as well. Let's start with them all. First, let's talk about the animation leaks as per usual. On the left side, we can see a new person doing an animation that we haven't seen yet before in Funky Friday. It seems like they are doing various poses, very charismatic poses as well. They're like hugging themselves, they're like, I'm not even sure exactly what they're doing. They're like doing some really crazy poses. Well, this is actually going to end up being the Nakuza animation from the FNF Entity mod. And Nakuza is actually one of the most highly requested animations, considering how much hype there is around her, and also how many people are adoring her as well. Now, this animation could run anywhere between 600 to 800 points. It's not a super complex animation per se. There's no 3D models or anything like that, but it is a very highly requested animation, so Possibly it could be more expensive because of that. We're really not sure. We just have to wait and see and find out. On the right side, we can see Java Coded along with a friend doing another dual animation as well, which looks pretty cool. A couple things to note, they are floating in mid-air, which is pretty nice. It kind of resembles a ghost-like appearance, and they kind of do move in the direction of the inputs as well. With another tip being that they're both holding the same microphone as well as if they are sharing the microphone, which is very brotherly and sisterly-like. This one was a bit tough, but this is going to be the Ghost Twins animation from the FNF vs Ghost Twins mod. And this one looks like it could go anywhere between 800 to 1000 points. It's it's gonna be another expensive animation because yet again it is another dual animation very customizable you can have your friends in the animation with you and it does look like the player is going to be controlling on the right side where Java coded is playing which is pretty nice leak number three we're able to get another new emo as well we can see Tanbrush dancing side to side swaying side to side with his arms in the same direction as he doing it like it kind of looks weird especially when he has his hands in the same direction like that I'm not sure about you guys, but it just looks kind of weird to me. Again, this is going to be a very difficult emote to crack down and debunk, but this is going to be the Nico Arc Dance emote, which is going to be inspired by the Nico dancing side to side in the same fashion as well. This emote could run pretty cheaply at around 350 to 450 points. It's not very complex by any means necessary, and usually emotes are way cheaper than animations as well, so it won't break the bank or anything like that. But it is pretty cool to see that the developers do want to add in some more Nico references to Funky Friday as we've seen in the past. Leak number 4, of course we're going to be getting a new background as well, we're going to talk about it too. Take a look at it. It does look very familiar though, as if it came from Undertale or something like that. But the name of the video does imply the background as well. This is of course going to be Judgment Hall ultimately from Undertale, but there has been a couple of cross references to this background 
background. Firstly, it has appeared in so many FNF Undertale mods. As usual, as you would expect, it is from Undertale, right? But as of recently, it also showed up in the FNF Entity mod where you go up against Nakuza in Promenade. So I'm thinking this background is going to be coming into Funky Friday because of that soul nature from Versus Entity. But this would be a great addition for all of you Undertale fans out there as well. And also leak number five. I know so many leaks in this one. We gotta talk about the new confirmed song as well. And this is going to be our first confirmed FNF entity song that's coming to Funky Friday. That's going to be Promenade. I mean, if you look at the credits of the song, you guys can see that it was created by the FNF entity team. Which pretty much means it came from the FNF Entity mod, go figure. But with that out of the way, we do got two extra bonus leaks. Thanks to Tambrush over on Twitter, he is the main 3D modeler and animation creator for Funky Friday. He sent me this black and white photo at, that's right, another new map background with the same emo and animation being played as well. And another new confirmed song if we look closer we could see the shotgun shell song being played in the picture leak. Now this map background does look like to be the mouse the AVI background because it is going to be in monochrome, black and white. As with the whole mod, it's in black and white as well, you know? And it looks like this background is going to create a new effect in which anyone who was inside the map background in Funky Friday is also going to be rendered in black and white, which is going to be pretty insane. We haven't seen that yet in any of the backgrounds of Funky Friday, so it's going to be pretty cool to see that happen. So with a confirmed and combined seven new leaks for Funky Friday, we're going to talk about all the new songs that we're going to be getting and also the possible mods that we're also going to be getting as well. First, starting with the FNF Entity mod. There are four songs that we will be getting from this mod, including possibly more bonus songs, which first starts off with Shotgun Shell, which features a rap battle against Aldrix, one of Solazar's agents. A lot of people have been wanting the Aldrix animation as well, and we could possibly get it anywhere between 600 to 800 points. That would be a fair asking price in my eyes. Of course, a Goldie would be returning in the new Parasite song with his new vocals as well. But don't worry, we'll still most likely have the old and new versions up at the same time. The third song, God Rays, where you go up against Solazar, is one of the staple songs for the mod composed by Rosebud. We could also see his animation come into the game as well, though not sure how they're going to execute the head. I'm guessing anywhere between 600 to 850 points on this one, and of course, Promenade against Nakuza, the Void Queen, and the Judgment Temple. That one is 100% confirmed, as well as shotguns thanks to the Tambrush bonus leak. And since Twin Ghost animations are coming, we could also see several songs from the Versus Ghost Twins mod featuring Hat Tip Song where you go up against the Ghastly Duo in a very drippy song. The Spectral Song where the Ghost Twins are suddenly getting more and more aggressive and have enough of your shenanigans. This one gets a lot more fun as it progresses. The Scuffly Song where you go up against a freaking ghost demon. This one is wicked scary and I kind of doubt we'd see this as an animation, but that would be cool to fuse two Roblox avatars together like that. And lastly, we do have the illustration song where you go up against the twins in person and in flesh. I could totally see this animation come in as well as another dual animation for around 700 to 900 points. Probably not as expensive as the ghost twins, but would still be really cool. <coughs> That was a lot of stuff to cover, but are you guys all excited with all these new leaks coming into Funky Friday? It came out like a bomb. Comment down below. Let's get all the hype in the comments. Don't forget to smack the like and subscribe so everybody knows about these new leaks coming right around the corner. And go cop some merch over at CaptainJackAttack.shop. We'll see you all on the next one.